Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I am PT, and today we have here Carmageddon Max Damage. So this game was developed by Stainless Games and it's using their own engine which is Beelzebub, what the hell, <laughs> what the hell name. So, uh, Stainless Games are the developers of this Carmageddon, Carmageddon Reincarnation, Carmageddon TDR 2000 and maybe the one that you know the most which is the Carmageddon 2 and Carmageddon 1. So this team decided to do uh, a new Carmageddon some time ago, um, not sure if it was via Kickstarter or just early access from Steam, but they decided to make a game called Carmageddon Reincarnation. The game was not that successful and it was very bad optimized and uh, a quite, I wouldn't say bad received, but it wasn't really perfect, but it wasn't uh, that bad either, but it wasn't really that well received. So. Uh, this team, Stainless Games, decided to re to release a remaster of their own Carmageddon reincarnation for the consoles and they call it Carmageddon Max Damage, which in the end was only a slightly different version from the Carmageddon reincarnation. But in the end of the day, the performance is much better as well as the graphics as uh, the content did change a little. So, what really happens is now they decided to update their the guys that had the Carmageddon reincarnation to this version called Carmageddon Max Damage. So this is the let's say the remaster version or the um, the improved version of the Carmageddon reincarnation. So if you had Carmageddon reincarnation, you are going to notice that you now have Carmageddon Max Damage instead of. Carmageddon reincarnation. So currently today we are going to run this game at the maximum settings which is what they call the best quality but I decided to benchmark to the better quality which is uh, slightly lower than the best quality and the balanced which we can call it the median okay so as you can see on the best quality we are currently running the game mostly above the 30 fps's if you want to go for the 60 fps's experience i sh i suggest you to go to the balanced settings okay so the results um, of the frame rate with these three settings are currently on the description of the video or you can press the red rectangle saying frame rate to take you to a sequence of the video where i talk a little bit about the performance so with that i hope you enjoy the rest of the video and i hope to see you soon goodbye
Hello boys and girls, welcome back now to the, the performance section of the video and so as you can see on the best quality, which was the settings that you saw on the video the game was running with a minimum of 32 and an average of 38 so this is the perfect uh, setting if you want to, to have um, an experience above 30 FPS, which is playable to be honest on the better quality, we got an average of 52 and a minimum of 34 so it's slightly above 
the best quality so if it's better it's uh, better if you want to have like a 40 to 50 fps as average but if you want to if you are searching for the 60 fps as experience i should recommend you to go and stick with the balance settings okay so let's say let's check the consistency of the frame rates so as you can see on the best quality 100 percent of the frames will be lower than 60 on the better 89 percent but the balance it's just six percent of the frames lower than 60 fps like i told you it's perfect uh, if you want to achieve the 60 fps most of the time as for the other stuff uh, the game uses uh, 1.9 gigabytes of VRAM on the best quality, the RAM usage was uh, 4.1 gigabytes of RAM, the TP usage was fine with the game, so the game was using between the 40s and the 60s, and I didn't suffer any bottleneck with the game, with the game using 99% of the graphic card. So that's all I want to talk about Carmageddon Max Damage, hope you did enjoy this video, if you want to check more content like this for my desktop or, or my GT740M graphic cards, just subscribe to my channel, uh, if you have any doubts, uh, comments and share the video if you want to help somebody um, knowing the performance that they will have on the Carmageddon Max Damage. So that's all, thank you a lot for watching and hope to see you soon, goodbye.